Right, in this video, we're gonna finish working on quadratics. And we're gonna look at sketching graphs of quadratics. And when you want to sketch graphs of quadratics, there's three important points. The y-intercept. <laughs> the roots or the solutions, as you could also call them and the maximum or a minimum point because you know how we get two different graphs of quadratics we'll get some like this and some like that and you see on these ones that's a minimum point at the very bottom here and on those, these types that's a maximum point right at the very top so it depends if we've got one like that we'll have a minimum and if we have a graph like that we've got a maximum point Now, to find the maximum and min or minimum point, we've got this formula here. Now, remember the form of a quadratic is this. So that's the B term at the top. So we'll take minus that and divide that by 2A. And to find this one here, what we do is whatever this turns out to be, we put that back into the equation and we calculate it. So let's look at some examples. Y and X, as you should know. And first thing we're going to look at the y-intercept. And on the y-intercept, x is equal to 0. So what we'll do is, we'll put x is equal to 0 into the equation. So I get 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 5. And that turns out to be 5. So that's the x-coordinate. So the coordinates are actually 5, 0. So, I could say that's somewhere like here. And the next thing is the solutions. So, I can factorise this to find me solutions. So, I'm going to do that. And I get a plus 5 and a minus 1. So, the solutions are going to be x equals minus 5 or x equals... One. And just in case you want to know the coordinates of that. Then we'll be these. So let's say one somewhere like here. And minus five is somewhere along there. Now, the graph will have to have sorry that should be a minus 5 because that was a minus 5 there, I don't know why I put plus So this point isn't there, it's here. So we'll graph a look. Oops, what's the minimum point? Before we go any further, what's the minimum point? The minimum point will be minus b which is minus 4 over 2a which is 2 so it'll be minus 2 so it'll be minus 2 squared 
plus 4 times minus 2 minus 5 so that'll be 4 minus 8 minus 5 which will come out to be minus 9 so a minimum point will be somewhere down here at the first coordinate will be minus 2, so it'll be about here, and minus 9, so it'll be about there. So that's the minimum point, so it'll go a lot down here through there, and cross the x axis there, and go through there. So it'll look something like that. It's always a bit wobbly on the board, but it's just to sketch the important points so it doesn't matter. It just has to look like a parabola. Now let's look at one more example where there's a bit of a problem comes up. So we're going to look at the y-intercept. That's nice and easy. I put in zero. And I get six as my point. So that's gonna be coordinates zero six. Let's just sketch a y and x axis here. I've had a sketch. So that point let's say six is somewhere. Here. So that's me y coordinate 6. Now, when we look for the solutions, remember the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. We end up with a bit of a problem. We'll get 10 squared minus. 4 times 5 times 6 and that turns out to be 100 minus 120 which would be finding the square root of minus 20 which means the graph is completely above the x-axis so we don't have solutions in this case so Let's see what the minimum point is for this graph. Well, we've got minus b, so that's minus 10, over 2a, that's going to be 10. So the first coordinate is minus 1, and that will be about here, let's say. And then the next thing I do is I just put it into here. I put minus 1 in here. And just see what we get. I get a 5. Minus a 10. Plus 6. And that comes out to be 1. So a minimum point will be about here, and the graph also has to cross here. So it's going to be very tight, and it's going to look something like that. That will be a graph. And notice how, if we got the square root of a negative number, the graph's completely above the x-axis. So that's how we we'll sketch graphs of quadratics and we'll talk about maximum and minimum points more generally in C2 if you're following the edXL exam board.